Don't put your hands on me. Don't push your hands on me. Don't push your hands on me. Get Someone's just right. Don't, come, don't come near me. What are you there's doing? There's a police recording. over there. There's a police. All right. We'll ask yeah. them. Yeah. Come near what me. What are you doing? Recording. Don't come near. And hello and welcome to another video. It's EA audits. Enlightened audits. And uh, it's Monday, and I believe it's the 26th today of uh, February 2023. But why and where are we? Well, as you can see over there by that sign, we are on the Riverside Estate. And um, where are we going to go? Well, somewhere that we have been in before, but last time was artificial, I felt. So, um, let's pick it up. Well, as you can see, we have uh, tankers going into this place at the back of the estate. Yes, it's... Well, there seems to be some sort of uh, injunction order in force which came in after uh, myself and Kent Audits um, had audited this place at the Navigator Terminals, Thames BV Limited, Oliver Road, West Barrack, Grays and Essex. It's going through there, I believe a red stretch which I'm not sure what's been out so we're going to go and ask. So we're going to uh, kick off here going to look at some of the uh at the tanks here and yeah this one here has uh, the, the navigator and the coordinates of the the place one of the Alder and allens are coming through yeah i'm all right thanks you're all right hey uh isn't it obvious? Yeah, I just asked you like, what's up? Is it a big pie? Yeah. Yeah, it's a secure site, so I'm not sure. Is there, is there an issue? I've just come out. I've not been made aware of it, do Is that, is that, all oh, right. Is that why they put the fence there? Yeah, um, it's, it's a bit dangerous. It has no materials. Do not enter. Oh, yeah. There's strictly no parking as well over there, look. I've just pulled over. I've not parked. It's parked. What are you doing? Eh? Hey? Do you move out of the road for me, please? Be careful, because that gate yeah. will open and trucks will come out. Yeah, okay. Be careful of the strictly no parking signs as well, wouldn't you? Because otherwise That's you might get... You might get caught out, might you? No, well, you've strictly here. no parking. You've parked up here, haven't you? I've pulled over. I haven't parked. I've pulled over. Well, what was that? That's, the, that, that's parking. Hey? Hey, do you know what? I was going to ask. I mean, look. You know, the, on the side of the tank there, they've got, like, the coordinates, like, for the, you know, location, I assume. Do you know, do you know why? Do you know why? It's all right, not to worry, pedestrians take priority. Well, I don't think we're going to get much question from her. But um, yeah, there is a, a no parking sign over there. Um, and they've got those coordinates as well over there, look. So um, due to suspended installation, due to has not been paid on the oil kept here, removal of oil um, or any uh, anything else, you can hear radios in the distance, um, of colouring, look, removal without marking or colouring of oil, which ought to be marked or coloured, may incur, may incur severe customs penalties, fines, imprisonment, forfeiture or forfeiture of vehicle. So, um, you know, we're just going to be completely continuing there. Hello. Alright? All right. How are we doing? How are you doing? Uh just get just getting a few photos of the site and that. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. You alright? No, not really. Not really. You're not supposed to. Really? You're not supposed to? Yeah. Why is that? You can blow up here with, with that camera. I could blow it up with the camera. Yeah. Could I? Yeah. So if I gave you a bucket full of oil and a camera, you could start a fire, could you? What kind of oil? Cooking oil. <laughs> uh, no, the type of oil that you've got on site here. 
We don't have any oil here. We don't have any oil here. They don't have any oil on here. This, this says on here that there's oil kept here. Look, duty has not been paid on the oil kept here. Is that what you do? Do you not it? Oh, we got loads of oil. So you just said you got no oil. What kind of oil? Oil. Uh, oil that you stick in. Uh... Yeah, look. You wanted to get on camera, there. Yeah, I want to oil and all sorts. You do olive oil, yeah? yeah? Olive of course oil. you do, yeah? yeah. Of course oil. you do, yeah? That yeah, comes from Kuwait, Bertoli. does it? Kuwait? No, we got Bertoli from uh, Italy. From Italy? Yeah, man. Oh, got you. Olive as well, maybe olives. Yeah. yeah, olive. So which ones are the olives? Olives in the that olives? one over there behind you. Yeah, that one behind me, that is it? That tank there. Yeah? yeah. That, that building there, they got loads of oil in that one. Oh, right. I'll go and have a look at that in a minute. Then maybe, maybe can you can you buy it? Like, can I buy some, some uh, oil? Because I'm paying about one pound and twenty nine p now for just just, just a litre of the Mazda. Here. It's really it's a lot, here, isn't it? Yeah. It's gone up. It's gone up. So if you go down Tesco's, yeah, it's cheaper there by a litre. Yeah, that's why I came here. To, hopefully, I'll be able to get some uh, cheaper cheaper oil here, and I'll be able to do my chips tonight with uh, you know a much. Of... Now, come on. Why has it got? Why has it got the uh, navigation side on? Look on the side of it. It's got like coordinates. Is that in case you forget where you actually work? And that? I don't work here. You don't work here? No, no I can see that. No. Oh, it smells of oil now, doesn't it? You don't work here, no? You just stand about, you know, looking cool with your glasses and that. Of course. Yeah. How come you got so dirty? You could have had a wash before you come, couldn't you? <laughs> I'm only joking. I'm only joking. No, I was just wondering about those coordinates. Like, why the coordinates are on the side of the building, uh, side of the... Uh, um... You answered it right yourself, just in case we forget. <laughs> that doesn't that doesn't really explain it but uh you answered it yeah it is true so you don't mind if i take a few pictures do you <laughs> you've even got it on your back like, go on turn around oh yeah you don't want to turn around is that in case you forget where you are no go on go on tell me some stuff about the site just i'm, I'm not a protester i'm not a, a, a activist I, I i you know i'm just coming to take some film that's all we sell sea cells. No, we sell. Sorry. Go on, sorry. Rape seed oil. You sell Both rape seed. You're not. A, so you're a rapist. That. Yeah. Yeah. You're selling that rape. Vegetable. You're selling yeah. rape seed That's oil. Right. Okay. That's what we have here. That's fair so enough. So hush, hush. Yeah. So we got. We got everything here. Brilliant. What about your mate? Has he got anything to? Uh, I have no mates. Anything. I have no mates. Really? I can't. I can't believe it. So um, there's an opening interaction from uh, Mr. Sarcastic. We was trying to try trump him. We were trying to trump him there, but uh, he won't answer. It's so much paranoia. There has been um, protests down this way. But, um, yeah, there have been protests, but um, so there is a certain amount of paranoia. That is the word. So, there we go. Should perhaps be a policy of uh, waiting by the driver until the um, gate has completely shut because I could have easily run into that gate. So, I don't know what's going on here. Look, it looks like they're on their way. I wonder where the departures is. I say deliveries and vis visitors do not block entrance. Look, visitors and new arrivals, please park here. And please, visitors and new arrivals. You off on holiday, mate? Look at all their luggage out here, look. So, I mean, two security uh, problems already. One is like the fact the gate has closed uh, before driving off. That's my recommend. Did that's recommended. And uh, what the hell is this? I've got to find out. So they come out back out to get their bags. Look, they have got travel, travel. 
labels on those um, on those bags. So, so what are they doing? A, Is there uh, a transport station? Can I can I can I go to Benidorm from here? Yeah, the interest of public you may be required to submit yourself, submit yourself to baggage and other vehicle searches prior to entry into this site. When they see where they're off to. I'm interested. You see? Again, that's that's a security breach. This is a security breach and all. Look, the gates were left open there for a moment. Somebody who was determined could run in there. So there is a waiting ferry back there. That's handy. Very convenient. Thank you. Thank you for opening the gate for me. Yeah, there is a ferry up the back there, isn't there? I was actually joking, but... It is actually a fact that uh, you can travel from here. Right, now, let's be polite. Let's make sure that... Um, they know first what we're doing. Hello mate, I just want to make you... What? What do you mean I'm not allowed to come in? Uh, I'm just coming to make you aware that I'm just going to take a few pictures, that's all. We are not supposed to take the pictures, but it's up to you. Well, how, what do you mean? This is a private property, you're not allowed to take pictures. Oh yeah, I'll be out the front, you know. I'll this is a private property, you're not allowed to take pictures. Well, I was just wondering, you know, where are, you know, those guys that were catching the ferry, are they catching the ferry? How do I book up? Excuse me, you're not on security, you're not allowed to take pictures on the site. Right. This is a private property, so if you go away, please, it'll be helpful. Yeah, okay, I'll go outside the thing. You don't take any pictures. Okay, well, but, but... Alright, mate. I just wanted to know how I could book up... Uh, how I could book up me travel. You know, like those guys. Couldn't you give me any details at all, mate? No, alright, you're not going to get nothing out of him. So um, we'll go outside the front. All right, Tavi, it's about time for breakfast, isn't it? Look, see, navigator. So we'll have to do a, um, we'll have to Google it then, if he's not going to tell us. But I, I didn't realise that there was a tourist part. I didn't realise that there was tourists around here. I didn't realise you could travel from here. Do they do trips to Benidorm? Yeah, there's something dodgy about that, isn't there? So what do you reckon, guys? I mean, those 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 people have walked down to to there, and I can see the sea wall from here. Look, and they've carried on. Yeah, they've look. They've carried on walking. I'm not sure you're going to be able to see that, but they they have carried on walking all the way down to the end, which is like half a mile away, probably. Look to be boarding the uh, ferry. So that's interesting. So we'll go to the. Uh, property edge where that, well, I think where that road sign was there's a uh, an air raid warning <laughs> sound that's where it would come from one of those I think that is original you know I think that's an original one look at this look they've got injunction paperwork well this is interesting the bloke went past he was laughing because of course they don't realise that I am here to try and improve the security. Yeah, I, I am testing the security. That's the idea. Look, those gates are left open for those few seconds. Someone could jump through. There should be a policy, like at the police stations, where they park up until like the uh, coast is clear. That's the start. Like, you know, I already get the feeling that there's something, there's something going on, something going on at this site. It's, it's not quite above board, but uh, you know, maybe it is, maybe it is. I don't know, but I didn't think they'd have travel going from here. And they were very interested in me. So as you see, this is a uh, Burnley Road, um, and there's this injunction paperwork here. Um, yeah, injunction paperwork here, um, and obviously this is uh, it's very confusing to say. Yeah, it's very confusing because you know if you're outside of the area, as I am, I don't know where Huntsman Drive site is, the Hayes Road site, and the Seal Sand site. 
but basically persons unknown entering or threatening to enter and remain without the consent of the claimants on the land known as the West Tharrock site. Right, and it's here that I'm beginning to think something's dodgy because I've got Navigator Terminator Tem Thames or something and then another one called uh, Linton Oil, Oils and Fuels and, and now, you know, this name, that name. The signature of corruption and dodginess is using false names or multiple names. This is a bit dodgy. You know, four applicants and um, the, they all provide fuel, apart from the fourth, who is part of the Navigator group, and that's a chemical site. Only. Applicants are Navigator terminals. Number four is the Windmill Limited. But you know what? From the time that I've had here so far, I'm still not aware what part this site is. What is this site actually called? By the way, something which us auditors always pick up on is, uh, what's this? What sort of parking's this? What if someone comes past with a buggy, wheelchair? Look, absolutely disgraceful. Appalling parking. Do you park like that, people? I mean, you know, you can call me. This is, uh, don't, you know, you're being silly, right? If you want, you can. But what if you were in a wheelchair? Look, if you're in a wheelchair, right? And like, you know, okay, it's pretty unlikely that you'd be coming past here. However, it's your right as a free citizen of this country not to have to go through all the prickles because some selfish prick has like, excuse me, prick, get it? Prick, it's really, uh. But this isn't very good, is it? Whose cars are these? <laughs> look, 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 they've walked off now. They were sitting there staring at me, even though their mum told them that it was rude and they were kids. I can't go back on. I can't go back on. Not with this in force. Which site is this one? Mate, when they do that, they go, hang on mate, and you hang on. Eventually. They don't come back. I mean, they've plainly been told not to engage with, um, with the public. Now what? What's next? I won't be able to pass my recommendations on because they won't engage with me. Why? Because I'm a member of public of the, of, of the UK. Why would they want to speak to a member of public from the UK? All they want from me is to go and fill my car up at twice the price. Three times the price. <laughs> Ru ruining the world. And 20 people protest. Honestly, it was on the national news. You'd have thought a nuclear bomb had gone off or something. So, stay safe, keep going, and, and peace. And this is where it all happened. As I'd completed my film, I was making my way back down the road and uh, just passing the entrance of another business on their sort of driveway. And um, a black Range Rover came round the corner, flying round the corner, and then veered off and came directly at me thinking I, I thought I'd had it, I really did. I couldn't go left, I couldn't go right, and I just froze like a, a deer. And uh, he swerved out the way in the last moment. I wasn't filming it, but I did have my camera around my uh, shoulders and uh, pointed the camera and tried to get a few shots. But uh, so let's fight continue after, just after I'd nearly been hit by this car. I was absolutely rattled. And not just a little bit annoyed. So this wouldn't be the uh, normal E8 audits. Uh, I was, uh, my hands were trembling for an hour after this incident. Apologies if anyone thinks this is over the top. So I was just coming out of the site and a Range Rover came past and uh, basically steered towards me, just missing me. Someone's just come out of this site in a Range Rover to try to drive their car at me. I need to know, I need to know who that car, who that car is. Don't put your hands on me. Don't put your hands on me. Someone's just, just right. I don't care. Someone has just tried to run me over. I don't care. Get out of here. Who are you? Who are you? Get out. Who are you? One person alive. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? I'll tell you what, mate. Get out. Yeah. Who are you? Don't matter who I am. Yeah. Get out. Now I do what you say. Really? Yeah. 
Yeah, I ain't doing what you say. Right, yeah, you still. Someone just come out of this site in a Range Rover. I want to know who that is. They've just stared. Oh, shut up. They've just stared. They've just stared. Yeah. Yeah. They're gone. Yeah, go on, mate. Yeah. Yeah, do tell the police officer. Yeah. You call the police. Yeah, you call the police. I'll be waiting out here. You shut your mouth. Yeah. Don't worry, I'll be happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, what are you threatening me, are you? I'm threatening that. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be out here in the room. Blah, 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 yeah. mate. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so basically, I'm standing in the road lights, you know, on the pavement down there, and uh, this person comes past in the Range Rover, in a black Range Rover, and steers the car at me. I ain't having that. You steer the car at me. Are you going to drive the car at me as well? You prick. Just try to just, just, try to run me over. And you see that that geezer that's in there, right? He's with this Brox fan, look. Look, Brox, look. Look, WR15 XDA. Well, we're going to wait around now until we get hold of this uh, individual. Yeah, WR15 XDA, look, from Brox. Look. Look at him stand. Look at him standing there, look, like doing that threatening behaviour. Section 5, public order. Yeah, that's what you are, mate. That's what you are, isn't it? You absinthe drinker. Look at him, look, look. Yeah, you're laughing, isn't you? You're laughing. Yeah. From the highway maintenance. Look, it's, it's fours. Fours approved, right? Fours approved. And they've they got that geezer light look, standing in, anywhere near it. Right. Pub right. Public order, mate. Well done. Well done. Well done, mate. Yeah, public order. Yep, so uh, indecently exposing himself. Yep, indecent exposure, section five. I can't wait till the police get here, mate. Can't wait for them to get here. Be careful, mate. Be careful. Oh, he just exposed himself. He just exposed himself. He's a bit weird. He's a bit weird, yeah? He called you weird. He called you weird. That is. He called you weird. You're, he said you're weird. <laughs> See you later. What? Oh. I'm waiting for this Range Rover to come back. This is highway maintenance. Right, I was walking back down the road, right, and um, I don't even know what the name of the site is. Where is it? You show me where it says the name of this site, right? It just says navigator terminals. Which site is this, mate? What's the site called? Yeah, but like you've got the site sands, you've got the Burnley Road, you've got, you know, I don't know, I don't even know which site. But someone came out of here, right, in a Range Rover, right? I was standing over here because I'm trying to sort of ascertain, you know, as per the injunction, I'm just trying to ascertain what the what the terms are. I was standing on this bit over here, and I'm actually trembling, right, because a, a Range Rover came out, speeding along, and tried to run me over, just like, just steered right at me, and I was like that. I couldn't, I couldn't, I was, I'd be scared, so I couldn't go left or right, and I was just stuck there, and it was coming right at me and it swerved out of the way at the last minute. But I've just walked in there and asked them for the details 
and then that bloke started shouting at me, you know, yeah, the driver, and uh, he's, uh, you know, I just, I want to know who that was in the Range Rover, you know. Right here, right here. Yeah, uh, the Range Rover came out of, uh, came out of here, yeah. Oh, right. And I was standing over there, I, I turned round, I was taking the shots, and it just, it sort of, you know, it sort of turned here. I'm standing there, look, and it's just like, you know, it, oh, cheers, mate, thank you. Unbelievable. So this is where I was standing, and then I was taking the photographs here, and then I turned round. This, you see where this car's coming now, and then it sort of turned in, and my heart was in my mouth. Um, I'm sort of short of breath um, after that incident. Well, guys, you know um, what was go what was everything going on? I've done some sort of Google research, and it would seem that. Uh, that the site which is just over there um, these four sites that are on the injunction relate to that are in different parts of the country I'm actually tre I'm trembling again look at my hand look look at my hands look can you see that uh, I went to go left and I went to go right and I, then I knew I wasn't gonna make it either way so you like a deer in the headlights I just froze I'm still I'm still tre st I'm still trembling Okay, so uh, I got to the end of the road, which is like half a mile away from the site, and uh, this individual took exception in his car to me filming, and uh, then this happened. Well, this guy's has just stopped on a roundabout. Look, there's a car here, look, causing an obstruction. Look at this, look. Look at this. Now, a second one. Look, look, look at this, look, look. He's left his car. Yeah, he's left his car. Look, 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 look he's trying to get back in it, look. Look. Okay, what are you doing? Hey? What are you doing with I'm filming. I'm filming. Don't come near me. Don't come near me. What are you doing recording? Don't come near me. What are you There's doing There's a police recording? over there. There's a the police. All right. We'll yeah. ask them. You fucking yeah. Hell. Yeah. What yeah. Are you yeah. Doing a little knob. What are you doing recording, eh? Yep. What are you doing recording? What are you doing? What are you doing recording? Who are you? Who are you recording on this road? Yeah. Who are you? You idiot. What, you. An, what an idiot. Look, now, first of all, have you ever heard of the Road Traffic Act? Have you ever heard of the Road Traffic Act? Leaving your engine idling on a roundabout, right? On a roundabout, right? He jumped out of his car. He jumped out of his car without his on LB08 EBC. Yeah, EBC. Unbelievable. Who's that? Who's he? No, he's gone, isn't he? Look, yeah. I was done. I was finished. How many times does this happen? I was finished. I was all done. I'm, I mean, here, look, here, I, just to put you in the, in the perspective, look, there's the site over there, and the road goes round in a sort of, like, reverse question mark shape. Uh, so I'm well down the road. This individual came, came down here, Right, I wasn't filming. I wasn't filming at that point. He sort of over. He overbraked, right? He overbraked right there, causing you know the, the vehicle to skid and uh, bounce, sort of thing. And then, um, and then you, then I started filming. So we'll have to look at that. The rest of that. And this is the thing with these industrial sites, is they do think that they are removed from the law of the land. And they are not. But there's another Brox van there. 01708 861 021. That's where the individual uh, from the... Uh right. Pub right. Pub Mate, well done, well done, well done, mate. Yeah, public order. Inside the the office uh, on the oil site. So if you've got any uh, comments for them, then you may wish to get in touch with but them. But the police have not turned up, which in itself is quite suspicious, isn't it? What are you looking at? What are you looking at? Well, why are you looking at me? Because you're looking at me, that's why. Look, have you just stopped in the middle of the road? Wells, you stopped in the middle of the road. Wells, you stopped in the middle of the road. Look. 
Yeah, all you think about is you. Look. Unbelievable. Look, it's called one, two, three. Look, one, two, three, right? On that, so on that one there. Uh, Range Rover has not re And uh, yeah, I didn't come here in protest. I leave in protest. And all the old suspects are, uh, are here today. Are here today. There's Surtas. We have uh, Sainsbury Tesco's. Um, you know, the big, the big supermarkets. Um, and of course, you know, there's another one. Look, Flexi Grid. These are the, these, you know, these people have represented you today. They're the ones who supply you. Uh, are trying to run over members of public in public on public roads and um, and then get out and start shouting at them as if they've got that, that guy's from the site but he hasn't got out he hasn't got out and started shouting and made a fool of himself accordingly he doesn't get filmed do you see you see what um, I mean then certainly no Range Rover black Range Rover has come back but um, there you go guys I hope you've enjoyed that uh, interesting isn't it so um hey whatever you do please stay safe difficult in places like this here like that see Sainsbury's they, they're, they're representing you these people today have represented you Sainsbury's uh, trying to run over your customers right members of public in public on public roads getting out you, you, you couldn't care less, could you? Could you? You're too busy putting your prices up to worry about, like the worry about the public of this country. You couldn't give a stuff. You just want our money. That's all. But uh, back to the good people. Uh, I do hope that you stay safe, guys. Um, keep going. And there's another Brox. There's another Brox van. Look, oh one seven oh eight eight six one oh two one. By the way, if you want to make any comments about. Uh, trying to run people over in there in public um, so for the last time <laughs> stay safe keep going from eight audits it's peace see you on the next one